Well, here we have the new Beast 3D with the AS 3X uh, augmentation system. Basically, it's a 3X's damping system. And there you can see I've got my Hyperion 180 just under the cowl. And I've centered all the controls mechanically. Actually, I didn't have to. They were centered. And um, now I've got a fresh program up here in my 10 CHP with Spectrum module. And I've got uh, no Expo. I used to use Expo in the old Beast. But I set this one for zero. And uh, all the controls are in stock positions. The rudder and elevator come in their innermost positions for max throw, and the ailerons are in their outermost positions for minimum throw. I got a feeling I'll be changing that soon. But for the maiden, I figured I'd leave all the controls stock. Well, let's see. Let's fire up the AS3X system. And now, let's see how it behaves. I can get this thing far enough away from my camera. You can see the elevator trying to compensate. The ailerons are trying to move. The rudder is moving. Okay, so here we go. Made in flight. All rates on 100%, throws at 100%. Controls going the right direction. Let's go. There's really no wind to speak of here today. Well, first off, I can say right now, I can see a difference in how it taxis. It, uh, the taxi straight ahead, hands off, pretty much. Okay. Let's go. I got a little trim. Needs a little trim. Well, the aileron trim is in order. that aileron trim taken care of here. Quite a bit of aileron trim. Looks like I'm going to have to work on the mechanical trim a little bit. A little rudder trim required. I'm just cruising along at half throttle right now. It's a little bit um, hard to see. I could actually watch the rudder. And it won't climb for you. Yeah, you have to hold it on the rudder. Hold the line. I see what they mean by the bank and yank. It doesn't do nice turns in bank and yank. It likes a little rudder. Well, there's full bore on a freshly charged Hyperion 180. Roll rate is a little slow. It does fly big. That I can say. And knife edge is, uh, you can see the system working the wind. Let's see here. A little micro turbulence up there. You can definitely watch the wings waggle a little bit.
Oh. I might have the CG forward yet. I have not measured it. Yeah, throttle off. Little wing rock in high alpha. Better than the other, better than V1. Not a lot, but I think I may have. Uh, Well, that was pretty cool. Nose doesn't drop when you bring the throttle off, it kind of stays put. Hovering is still not easy. Easier, but not easy. And torque rolls are easier. Definitely flies different than the old beast. Um, it's kind of like it's on rails. Let's do a touch and go and see how it behaves. Coming in, power on. Oh, that's nice and easy. Up we go. Rolling climbs. Yeah, it'll climb vertically. Yeah, still going. Still going. Hey, it does that a lot easier. You don't have to hold it and follow it anymore. And that's uh, five minutes of flying, five and a half minutes of flying almost from the timer goes off on this uh, pack. We'll have to try a knife edge. Well, uh, it wants to do something a little different than I planned on during that knife edge run. See the wings get a little waggly as I make it go faster into that wind. Let's see what happens. Doesn't require very much rudder for knife, but it definitely wants it when you turn around. Um, let's see. Okay, it's telling me that the battery's going low. Okay, so there would be the maiden flight of the Beast 3D stock prop Hyperion 180 2S pack. And as you can see, there's nearly no wind. Okay, uh, that was actually a six and a half minute flight, so I'm assuming no battery is going to be a bit low.